text tab settings. When we're in our new table style and we're setting up our new table style, we want to go over to the tab called text. We click on the text and we want to set the properties of our particular text. We want to make sure we're on our current style that we want. So if I want to be in my data, I want to make sure that I'm matching my data, that I'm setting the text to my data. Now first, text style. We can come along here and pick any text style that we want. If we don't have a text style that we want, we can always pick the ellipse button and it'll go out and go to our text style uh, dialog box and we can create a new text style. I don't recommend using annotative in this class uh, until the end of the semester. So you want to use a non-annotative text style and you usually want to set your height to zero. All right. Then in the text height, we're going to set our text height for the actual text height here. Typically we're using eighth inch text height in the data. Uh, we're using 3 sixteenths uh, point 0.1875 in the header and quarter inch in the title. Some people use eighth inch for the header uh, and 3 sixteenths for the title, depending on your company or standards for your organization. Next we choose the text color. You can say by block or you can go with any particular color you want, for example. So I would go by block or by layer. The text angle, typically we're at zero, that's reading from left to right, but if you want to, for example, change, uh, go up here to the headers, a common thing in the header is to change it to 90. And when we change it to 90, you'll see that the header reads from the bottom going up. And uh, there's a good example of that on figure 21.7 in the textbook uh, with the room schedule. So you might want to try that. Uh, so we have text style we set. We set our text height. Uh, I'll go with 0.25 for my header. And we set our text color and our text angle. We do that for each one of our three cell styles. And that's how we control our text properties.